Hello everybody, welcome back to some more fight. A subscriber where a subscriber has sent me a craft and we see what chaos ensues when I send it up against a selection of my own fighters, which you can see here. After this, we only have two more craft to get through, which means that by the end of this episode, another craft will have guaranteed itself a place in this season's final, which will be the F-54 Kaiser, unless today's challenger can dislodge it. So uh, let's go meet it. So this is the Horizon Mark 33C by Jack Meaton. It's a somewhat unconventional craft. It's a twin-engine fighter using two of those Saturn afterburning engines. It doesn't have a tailplane. Uh, pitch stability is provided by that large main wing and also those two four-plane canards. And the twin tail fins are located on the back of those two tail booms. That large main wing should provide it with some good stability, but uh, I do worry it might prove too easy a target for my own craft, but uh, only time will tell. In the meantime, let's go and see how this thing flies. As I suspected, that wing means that it is a very manoeuvrable craft, and uh, those twin Saturns mean it doesn't lose much speed in the turn either. Uh, I did have questions about this craft's pitch stability, but no, that seems fine. Uh, taking off with this craft is interesting. I think the rear landing gear need to be moved forward a little bit, but that's about the only fault I can find with this craft, aside from, obviously, that, uh, that large surface area maybe making itself a little bit ripe for shooting out of the air. Anyway, that's the formal introduction out of the way. Let's get down to business. To start with then, as is traditional, the Horizons will be going up against my Cyclones. Let's get them into the air. Here we go then, the Horizons turning around to get missiles away. Um, as usual, I've performed a number of test fights with these, and uh, in those fights, the Horizons were much better than the Cyclones at getting their missiles away. It meant they could uh, tend to keep the Cyclones on the ropes a little bit, but um, the Cyclones won their fair share of those fights, so it'll be very interesting to see how things uh, how things pan out there. That missile goes very close to that Horizon, who is uh, breaking low to dodge, but is now turning to close the distance and launch its second volley. How are these Cyclones getting on? Just turning away to break and dodge. Nothing exciting there. The usual game of missile tennis. These Cyclones, as I've uh, mentioned a few times, have seemed to be vulnerable to early missile kills, and that is one of them gone straight away. A cloud of debris is all that's left from one of those Cyclones. Well, uh, that, was, that was narratively convenient. Anyway, any second now. Oh, and that's another one gone. There's nothing even to switch to. That's another one of the Cyclones just <laughs> completely destroyed, obliterated. And now Shawnee Kerman, missile goes flying past, has to pop some more chaff because there's another one coming in. But we'll have the attention of three of these horizons, and I don't think this is going to end well. That uh, that missile goes flying past, and the guns start raining in. Manages to, manages to get the missile away of his own. There come some more guns. Bit of a joust going on. Nothing comes of it. That horizon sticking to that tail. This is a it's a manoeuvrable and stable craft, and as I said, those engines give it a bit of power as well. So. Um, Shawnee Kerman is sat in a very dangerous place at the moment. These craft are only armed with the one miss. Oh, sorry, are only armed with the one Vulcan cannon. The Horizons, that is. So, um, don't have the. <sighs> wow. Okay, that was impressive. Don't have the uh, greatest ability to uh, lay down some serious firepower, but um, in this kind of situation, it uh, it should count. Where are we? One of these Horizons got quite badly damaged. It looks like I can't see any real visible damage on any of them, so obviously just superficial, but uh, Richmond Kerman now trying to get, trying to come about, put Shawnee Kerman into uh, into his sights, just doesn't quite have the turning power, having to, oh that was very close, some damage done on that cyclone there though, what has Shawnee Kerman lost? Nothing major, probably just uh, probably just some missiles gone. Richmond Kerman seemed to be lining up a perfect shot there, but um, nothing doing this time around. Shawnee Kerman pulling some more evasive manoeuvres. 
And that's a little bit of Horizon debris. Missiles coming in. Get scorched again. A little bit more damage. I get... Oh, that looks... That looks less superficial. <laughs> that looks much, much, much less superficial. So, Shorty Carmen, we'll be out for the count shortly. And that is victory for the Horizons. A convincing victory in that first fight. Well, let's move on to the next one. So, a near perfect fight there for the Horizons against my Cyclones, but. Now they might be up against some trickier customers in the form of my club tails. Let's get this one started. Here we go again. So the Cyclones, they sort of become the whipping boys of this competition. Um, I think I'm going to have to replace them for Season 3. Um, I mean, they're still decent all-round fighters, but uh, you lot have certainly raised your game this season, so I think it's about time I do too. Missiles going back and forth. These club tails don't normally fall to an early missile kill, but they've, uh, they certainly have done on occasion. Um, how are we looking? Everybody looking to dodge. Jabana Kerman coming about to launch his second volley. Nope. Turning exactly the opposite direction. I'm not sure what he's up to but I'm sure all will become apparent in uh, in good time. Popping some chaff there. Have uh, any of any of the Horizons managed to get their second volley away? There we go. Now Jebediah gets his away. We'll have to turn pretty sharpish to avoid that missile. That comes very close, and Jebediah has lost a lot of his craft. So that is bad news for, uh, for the Horizons in this second fight. Those club tails... Seem to have come through it all right. That looks to be a bit of debris. One of the club tails has taken some damage as well. Which one is that? That is Rowena Kerman out of the fight. Jebediah's craft heavily damaged. Ooh. Yeah, there's no coming back from that. As I was saying, Jebediah's craft heavily damaged, but does still seem to be hanging on in there. Well, um, yeah, that was that was decisive. Jebediah, yes, it might make that craft slightly trickier to control. Gutfire coming in from one of those club tails Jebediah manages to avoid. Might have difficulty avoiding the ground, though. And, yes, straight into the ground. It is 2v2. So, uh, so a more even fight already. Valentina Kerman trying to line up a target. I'm not sure. Seems to be suffering a little bit of indecision has to break off, has one of the Horizons on her tail. Missiles going back and forth. There's one of the Horizons, there's one of the Club Tails. Both miss their targets though. And let's see how uh, see how things progress from here. Let's go over to that fight over there. Shawnee Kerman laying down guns onto that Horizon. Now this is a very dangerous situation for those Horizons because as I said they are a large target to hit. Those large wings, providing the manoeuvrability, though they do. Just extra target area for the club tails. And Shawnee Kerman puts paid to another one of them. Daphne Kerman might have some semblance of control, but it's not going to be enough. And it is now two against one. How's that last horizon holding up? Um, no, not you. There we go. Gunfire coming in. They will have the one kill from this fight, so uh, they are not going away from it empty-handed in points terms, but uh, they've got a hell of a job on to save this one. More gunfire comes in. Only just misses. Richmond Kerman seems to be lining up a shot or a missile or something, but um, thinks better of it and decides to just go straight down and dive to avoid the gunfire. Is going very, very low. We'll have a job on to... Is forced into the sea. So, yeah, as I was saying, whilst the Horizons did manage to get one craft down, they do lose this second fight. Let's go see how they get on in their final round. So, with the way the leaderboard is set up after that second fight, the Horizons can no longer automatically qualify for the final today. Uh, but they can leave themselves in a very strong position to do so in this final fight against my Panthers. Let's get them into the air. Okay. 
our craft turn and fight one final time and I'm hoping there's some uh, some early kills because my frame rate is yeah it's not uh, it's not looking too healthy at the moment um, these panthers have no normally been very good at dodging missiles though so yeah I think the fight's going to be going on for uh, a little while longer yet missiles going back and forth um, that first volley approaching the Panthers doesn't seem like any of them have gotten anywhere near the craft. Nope, and no damage done on the Horizon side either, so in with the second volley it is. The Horizon seem to have gotten theirs away. Here come the, uh, the return volley from the Panthers, that last Panther getting that last one off there. Jebediah turning to try and break. That is something, that is one of the Horizons gone. just crumbles to dust under a missile kill so that is uh, that is not good news for the horizons they um they haven't seemed to do too well when going um going a craft down another missile coming in for jebediah it looks like he can avoid it relatively easily though and these horizons have got a bit of work on to leave themselves in a uh, in a top four spot they can still do it but uh, it is a big ask at this point How's the other Horizon getting on? Rich Mulcarman! Rich Mulcarman has not been killed yet. Uh, no, tell a lie, he got killed in that last one. He was the last man standing in that last fight, though. Um, where, are we to go? where are we going? Yes, missiles still flying back and forth. Doesn't appear to be a lot of gunfire going on. Two craft getting up close and personal there. That might change that, and that is one of the other horizons gone. Once again, Rich McCurman is the last man standing, and will once again have the unenviable task of trying to turn this around from being 3 1 down. The Panthers trying to close to gun range, Rich McCurman trying to pull some evasive maneuvers. The gunfire comes in, two sets of it. And it's not looking good, is it? There's some damage. It doesn't seem to be anything major. Just superficial for the time being. Which Mulkerman has some difficulty controlling his craft. I'm not sure if that uh, got rid of some control surfaces. Yeah, it's one of the control surfaces on one of the tail fins has gone, but uh, that shouldn't affect him too much. Turns around, does get a missile away. If that can find its mark, who knows? No craft has yet turned it back from 3 1 down. In fighter subscriber, though, so um, the early signs are not good. Has to pop some uh, chaff. Missile coming in. Uh, where's that coming from? Here it comes. It looks like. Yeah, I'll just go past. Uh, just go past Richmond Kerman's tail. Trying to turn, loses a missile of his own, but then has to start dodging another one. Hmm. Doesn't manage it though. And that is all the horizons gone for no return kills. So let's go see how this affects the leaderboard. So after a promising start, the Horizons sadly fall short in their next two fights. And if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see uh, that it's four kills and three survivors puts it onto a total of seven points. Commiserations then to the Horizon, which has missed out on one of those all-important top four spots. But congratulations to the F-54 Kaiser by Kaizen65, aka Carl, which has now guaranteed itself a place in this season's final. A huge thank you to Jack for sending me this craft. It is beautiful to fly. Uh, I mean, not to take off, but it genuinely is a pleasure to fly. Uh, if you want me to fight any of your craft, uh, entries for this season are pretty firmly closed by this point, but I am planning to do another season, so feel free to send them to me anyway. Details are in the description. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, link down below, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but uh, until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.